Once again, the true prize of WWE's King of the Ring. Ever since the King of the King and Queen of the Ring has passed, our next step is WWE SummerSlam. And for each winner of the King or Queen of the Ring, we get a shot at a belt. And the only way you can earn a belt is at WrestleMania. And how so? Is by going through 29 other superstars just to earn yourself a title shot. Or so we thought. But, 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 but. I made a video. King of the Ring Tournament. True prize for real. Check it out. And that true prize for real was a shot at a WWE title. Now you're thinking, wait, didn't they mention something about this? Yes, they did. Because one, somebody <clears throat> had to watch it. Mr. Paul Triple H Trevet. Because, see, you, you just named the winners of the King of the Ring tournament who be getting a shot at that title. Now, the King and Queen of this tournament was to whole point was to get a crown, not a throne. Not a scepter, not a robe, but just a crown. And if you was to earn that crown at the King and Queen of the Ring, you could go on to SummerSlam, the hottest event of the summer. Whew, I need to take five. I'm already sweating bullets. <laughs> And you know what? The king of the ring was always about the crown, the scepter, the robe, and the throne. That's what it was all about the whole time. But you know what we never figured out? What we never thought? Thanks to this man, Brock Lesnar, who went through, what, four other people, three other people, just to become king of the ring? Hmm. What did he do after that? He earned himself something. A title shot. Against. The final boss. The Rock himself, who held the undisputed championship at the time. You feel me? And well, he won that match in Dooley. So it got me thinking. Why did he do it many years later, around, say, 2019, King of the Ring, where many superstars competed, but two made it up there. I mean, Finn Balor and Xavier Woods. Who won the tournament. But you know what? Hmm. 
with him winning the tournament, they just forgot about this man. Because it's like this. Why didn't he go off to this SummerSlam and challenge, well, had a shot at the World Heavyweight title? I mean, instead of Goldberg, why didn't Xavier Woods didn't get a title shot or make it a triple threat at least? Really? Why he didn't get a title shot afterwards? I mean, come on now. That year, SummerSlam? 2019, I think. Bobby Lashley versus Xavier Woods. By the time that match would have ended, because one, he had New Day bagging him up. And well, you know what would happen with them backing him up. He will earn that, that belt. Fair and square. So why didn't he get the same opportunity as Brock Lesnar did? That's that's the point. Why did he do that? Why? Because, I mean, look, history can't repeat itself if everything was to fall in place. Oh, for shame. But since it's the king and queen of the ring this time around, this year, I will say this. The king and queen of the ring crowns looked it beautiful. But no robe, no scepter, no throne, just the crowns. Okay then. What I was talking about now? Oh yes, the winners. Which were Gunther and Miss Nia Jax. So with Gunther and Nia being king and queen, Neil, 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 Neil. I mean, we never thought that these two would ever make it through to you know win this whole tournament. It's a shame though they had to do it in Saudi Arabia, where well, they should do it a place where it says king and queen are respected. And you think, where at? Well, <laughs> I'll explain in my next video. But till then, King Gunther versus Damien Priest. Oh, Father, I have sinned. <laughs> what? His last name is Priest. <laughs> and well, that, that's, that's, that being saying, it seemed like uh, Queen Nia is going to uh, challenge the champion Bailey at SummerSlam. Can she take that belt away from her? Hmm. Power versus speed and technique. Oh, good Lord, have mercy. But question: So who's going to be SummerSlams? 
Who who's gonna be the SummerSlam opponent for our undisputed nightmare? Cody Rhodes. I thought it was gonna be Maestro WWE if he ever went to SmackDown, but yeah. And then who's going to be the challenger for Miss? For oh, I can't. I don't know. I can't say her name. It was just like a curse. Miss Morgan. Mm. So what you guys think, huh? Do you think there's a connection between the King and Queen of the Ring tournaments and SummerSlam? With that being said, I'm your boy Chris Blackthor Harris. Subscribe, hit that notification bell, like, share, leave a comment below. Think about this wrestling video. Because it comes to my wrestling style, I'm not just a powerhouse, I'm also a technician.